Hey guys, this is Brian Monson. So first we're going to check out octalk.net. This is Dave right here uh, with his first video and it's actually a um, walkthrough of choosing your first ocarina. Obviously it says right there. Um, he, he goes, it's very thorough so if you're a beginner I definitely recommend checking out this site first and watching his video. And then there's feedback you can also leave. Uh, but first you'd have to make um, an account. But yeah, so there's that. Then I want to jump to the history of the, of the ocarina. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Wrong spot. It's on this one. My bad. Okay, so the history. Um, it would take a long while to really go into a lot of detail about the ocarina. Um, so I recommend that you guys just come to this site yourself, songbirdocarina.com, uh, and just check it out for yourselves. Uh, it'll be at the homepage, so you just need to come over here, click on history, and just, you know, read it. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's really famous because of the Legend of, Legend of Zelda games. That's how it became popular again. And yeah, most of you probably were introduced to the Ocarina through that game. But uh, there's there there's a lot of other ways that people could have been. Um, so yeah, we're gonna jump to uh, Ocarinas now. <clears throat> Sorry, my computer sucks, so it's gonna <laughs> be loading. Hold on a sec. Start some music here, dude. This is just showing you how crappy my computer is. I'm trying to upgrade. There's this uh, computer I want. It's like 300 bones. Uh, it has like a terabyte of hard drive and three or four gig of RAM, dual core processor. Three hundred dollars, but yeah. Let's play some Chrono Trigger. Anyways, so here's some pendant ocarinas. Uh, these are made by Focalink. I'm not sure about that one, but I do know most of these are. That one's pretty good. But let's start with the first. Um, so obviously you can see there's a lot of different designs. This, these two, I know they're made by Zach Shy. I think that's how you say his last name. Not really sure. Um, the fingering is kind of weird. I don't know really how to explain the fingering because it's pretty different from the 12 hole. Um, I do know they have uh, certain ranges like soprano, alto, I think. Um, yeah, so, but from so far of listening to them and reading the reviews, Teardrop is probably the best one you want to go with. These are pretty girly, I think, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't get them, but. Yeah, this one also looks like a great one. And these are also good for beginners and advanced or intermediate players. And really, it, it's a lot of fun. You can wear it like a neck necklace and just take it wherever you go, you know? So, here's all that. And then also, if you want to know more about the ocarina you're choosing, go to the product details. And here's the price. Usually, standard shipping for UPS or, um, or FedEx is about $8, I think. So, now we're going to go to Sweet Potato Ocarinas. If you guys haven't played Chrono Trigger, I'd definitely recommend it. Get yourself a game emulator and play it. It's great. Change the music up. Okay, never mind. Here's the uh, sweet potatoes. These two are plastic ones. Here's this Prano, here's an Alto. Um, I got my first one from STL. I'll show you that real quick. I think it was over here. <laughs> okay, so it's this top one that I got. Picture. Okay, there it is. 
Um, this is the first one I got. I wasn't too happy with it. The sound quality, it's really windy, but I've heard from a lot of people that no matter what kind of plastic you get, it's really windy. So if you're going to get a plastic one to begin with, I would recommend coming here to Songbird and grabbing one of these two. Um, I personally, I like the bigger and uh, lower, you know, a little bit higher, like altos or tenors. You'll, you'll, you'll want it in C major. Um, yeah, they're really fun and they're really good for practicing fingering techniques and just, you know, whatever. Um, this is, uh, these are uh, Zelda replicas. Um, not exact. I do, I think I know of a website where they sell uh, the exact replica. But this is also one that I have. It's a 12 hole sweet potato uh, alto in C major. Um, I have mine fire strawed just because I like the design more. But this is definitely almost the clearest sound I've ever heard um, besides my double from Focalink, which I'll show you in a few minutes. But I would definitely recommend getting this um, if you're wanting to upgrade to a better 12 hole. And then this one, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's fairly fairly good also if you're you know if you like the higher sounding ocarinas like the soprano and yeah so this is this is called the muse i really want this it's actually uh... there's this contest oh october i need to talk about october october is um... it's an awareness fair that we're doing it's not in utah <laughs> I think it's in Texas actually. I'll show you the site where it gives all the details. But the Muse right here, this is a very good ocarina. Great sound, great quality. But, uh, I, I can't afford the price right now, but I, I, I would definitely get it if I could. There's a bass. You probably won't want that for a while if you're, you know, a beginner. If you're an intermediate or advanced, you probably already know about it. So here's a Dragon Tooth ocarina. It's very good. And they're also coming out with a new one both for the Muse and uh, the Dragon Tooth Ocarina, they, they're uh, making a different design. So I'm not sure if this is entirely updated yet. But uh, here's a Dragon Tooth. And you can also have a sound uh, sample over here. They have plenty of videos uh, on this spot. And it also comes with this songbook, I think. You can get the product de- oh. This is the new model that they're coming out with. It looks a lot more authentic, I would say. It's it's really cool. I, I want it. Um, yeah, and so here's the product details. Now I'm going to jump to Focalink's Ocarinas. <laughs> so these are all made by Focalink, and he is a great, great maker. Um, I mean, I, I, he's arguably, arguably the best one uh, out there right now, besides probably Mr. Hind. Uh, all, all that I know of, um, but his is of great quality. This is the double ocarina I have. You can go ahead and check that out. I have mine in alto. Um, it's probably for more advanced. You're, you're gonna want to have the 12 hole uh, uh, down. Like you, you want to know the fingers, the fingering. You want to know the pitch range, uh, the notes. And one thing I definitely advise you all to do is learn uh, piano notes, because these are in different majors. And on the piano, um, e each ocarina comes with a fingering chart, and they'll have the uh, fingering uh, numbers converted into the notes, like uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and uh, you can figure out what range you your ocarina has for songs on the piano. It also enables you to read sheet music, so you have a better um, song-like range where you can you know, read music and learn all, a lot more songs. And usually you can see, uh, um, yeah, I won't take you to the songbooks, but they have a lot of songbooks, fairly cheap, uh, very good, uh, and a lot of songs, and it's great. So, this is that. And then uh, you have your testimonials, uh, videos, and the gallery is uh, about the ocarinas. And then if you want to contact them, um, you you can actually I think you can actually uh, request a custom made ocarina. You go to about us and you can either call them or leave them a, a email. So now we're gonna go to octalk.net. So this is Dave. Um, you can follow him on any of these. Uh, and then I I've made a 
you know an account in here so I get word of what's going on but then let's see here's the news <coughs> <coughs> sorry kind of ill oh, sorry wrong one <laughs> let me go to music okay so music this is uh, these are all songs I think made by Doc Jazz, maybe some other ones made by other people. But you can have a free music download, which is awesome. I love it. And it's pretty great. And I'm gonna go to reviews. No reviews yet. Links, uh like I said, here's links over here. Links here, music tabs, um where you can find a lot of different ones. This is for the iPhone Smule. I don't like Smule. I just think it's not like original. So um then here's the forum. And then so this is just a discussion page of Ocarina's. And then we're gonna go home. <coughs> I'm gonna play that music again, I love it. Go ahead and listen to that. Weird, okay. Um. Sorry. And here is the home page. I think that was a glitch back there. Pretty annoying. Okay, so this is the October Awareness Contest. It's not specifically related to October. Um, this is just an awareness fair that's going on, trying to get people, you know, pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory, aware of ocarinas. And there are several different prizes for several different, uh, uh, like, sections, like you make videos or whatever. I, I would suggest you come and read it for yourself. I'm actually uh, going for um, one. I'm going to be recording music and uh, can, er, uh, going to my local college and performing there and to get the word out. But on all of these, you have to record a video of some kind to prove it. Um, oh, and there's uh, Oc Ocarina Guilds. I'm trying to get one set up in Utah. Um, Another friend, uh, his name is Brock Fen Fenton. He lives in Sandy, anyways. But we're trying to get one up. So if any of you live in Utah and you love ocarinas and you play them, go ahead and uh, find us on Facebook, and we can get that going. So then here's STL. I know a lot of people don't like them. I, I wouldn't say not like them, but they've complained that some of their ocarinas are a little bit windy. Um, I can't really say for sure myself because I got an, okay, I got a plastic one. And plastic ones are pretty much crap anyways. But I was wanting to get a double or a triple uh, or a nice uh, advanced 12 hole. <clears throat> but yeah, these ones, I saw some reviews for the uh, triple ocarina plastic one. Uh, and the review wasn't that good. I wouldn't suggest getting one. Um, you guys can decide for yourselves. Um, yeah, they they have a lot of stuff. It'd take a while to look at it all. But here's Ocarina History. You can uh, click on these. Most of these, almost all of them, have a sound sample. So you can do, go ahead and do that. You can contact them uh, about Ocarinas you want made or something. Uh, I don't know if they do custom making make ones, but you can contact them about anything you have a question about or of. Um, more sound samples. Then about them, and then whom. So I'm gonna bring you to Mr. Hines' website. His I've only heard good reviews and good comments about his uh, wind-made ocarinas. Excuse me. Um, he has he has a lot of them, and I do know he makes uh, custom-made ones. Uh, but the price might go up or down, you know, depending on what you want. Um, all of these are of great quality. We're gonna go to products. <clears throat> Still loading. Okay, so here is sweet potatoes. Um, and then these are his 
special ones that he created himself. Uh, these are like, uh, I mean, are like the sweet potato. I mean, they sound same, I think, but he has some of them that actually uh, play two ranges in a melody, like, together. Like, they, like, I don't know how to explain it, but if you want a better example, go to the videos and uh, listen to some of the music he can that he plays on this one right here. It's very, very beautiful. Then rhythm rocks, they're pretty, pretty awesome. They're like maracas, um, but I'd, I'd say they're better. Uh, really awesome makes a kind of rain stick effect sound. And you see, like, like I said, custom orders or choosing an ocarina. And there's all these links down here. And so I'd uh, very much recommend going to the gallery or videos to help you decide which ocarina you want. And then there's new product specials, links over here, all that jazz. So here's the special of the day. Uh, my friend uh, Gabriel, uh, YouTube username Aukman47. Uh, he is a friend of mine, uh, and he actually makes ocarinas himself. He's 13 years old. Very good sound quality. I don't know if this is gonna work right here. This sound it wasn't working earlier. Yeah, it's not working. Crap, I would recommend you come to this site and uh, look at it, look at all of his videos. Uh, very good. <coughs> um, and he'd very much appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, so go ahead and do that. It's awesome. Uh, this is pretty creative. I don't even know if I can do that. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm going to go up here. And so you click on that to see all of his videos all of his uploads and he has some awesome videos uh, some about he's made or some of um, like some ocarinas he's made like those he made those and yeah just a lot of them and now uh, I'm gonna also take you to Doc Jazz 4 <laughs> His channel, best ocarina player I know, uh, the most talented that I've seen play, perform, and record. Uh, very great. He's inspired me to actually create my YouTube page and just, you know, get into ocarinas. So, <clears throat> here's his page, and right below that uh, link is his email address. <coughs> this is one of my favorites right here the shop theme of Ocarina of Time, and also the Gerudo theme he plays. So, this is it. Here's another link for his octalk.net. Very well known. I would suggest looking at the Ocarina uh, tutorials for beginners on here. Very great. Goes into a lot of detail. Um, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for this. Uh, this broadcast or recording whatever you want to call it and I will see you guys uh, in a few tomorrow is Monday and I'm probably gonna be making one an another me of uh, performing a song um, that I still need to practice might not be best like the best you know perfect sounding but yeah thanks for watching and have a great night